One last video on these draw functions in here. So at the bottom, you'll see the options of Kogo. Kogo. I'll just go through all four of them real quick. Uh, this one here is probably something I use on a daily basis. What it does is it measures the distance between two points or the distance of one line. So for instance, if I tap this line here, I can then open the side menu and it'll tell me the uh, length of the line. And uh, I mean, if you were dealing with heights or some sort of 3D drawing, it'll tell you the slope of it as well. Um, let's see, let me tap one more line here, smaller, so you get the idea. There we go. Two foot, two and three quarter length. Okay. Another thing I can do is I can have a line and then I can tap a point and it will tell me the uh, distance away from that line that that point is. So a better idea would be like using this line instead so you get the idea. Yep. So what's, what it's saying is that wherever this line begins, I believe the zero zero of this line is right here. It goes up four feet six and three quarters and it's offset one foot nine seven eighths so it's a good way to just see how far off a control point is from a line and then the third way you can use this is by saying point to point and so there's my two control points uh, seven feet two and one eighth apart and the direction on the CAD drawing is 270 degrees I hope that makes sense uh, but I use this all the time because if I want to verify what the CAD is telling me the control points are supposed to be I can use this and say okay yep my control points are saying they're supposed to be 50 feet apart I go and measure that in the field using my tape measure or my not my tape measure but like the missing line on the tool and I can verify it so this is a really good way of just verifying dimensions the other option on here is what we call I don't know I call this angles but you get the idea. Basically, if I tap three points, it's going to tell me the angle of that. So that's a 150 degree angle. Um, I guess going uh, from the right side, so here to here, and then it's 209 degrees going this way. So that's how that works. You get to see both angles. And it's just basically taking that middle point as your center vertex. That's where it's taking the uh, angle from. Um, I don't use that very often, but that's an option. And then area. It is what it says it is. You can tap three, at least three points or more. Open up the side menu and it tells you your perimeter and your area. Pretty good thing to use to just do general. If you're doing like uh, field measurements, and as built of an area and you are, have uh, your heights turned on or whatever, you can get some really good data out of this. And then lastly is your information button. This is nice to say, okay, what, uh, like tap a line, open it up and it tells you like where it starts. So the line location started at north 10, east 1. So like right here is where it started and it ended at north 10, east 12. So that's how you know how it was drawn. If you scroll down lower, it'll tell you uh, the length of the line and what layer it's on. So if you have any line work or any devices on here that you are annoyed by and you want to get rid of, you can know what layer it's on so you can go into your view and completely just uh, turn off that layer. So that's information about line work and then you also have information about points. I have my uh, layer that that point's on the name of the point, the location of the point, and then any attributes that it might be on. So I hope that helps. I think that'll give you some good info to start modifying your drawing and checking some measurements and getting pretty accurate with the machine.